All right, uh, let's look at the homework three, uh, problem number 10. All right, it says this. For any two congruent triangles, one can be transformed into the other by only using at most three line reflections. All right, uh, part A, construct the two congruent triangle that require two line reflections. All right, and construct the two congruent triangles that require three line reflections. All right, so um, since uh, reflection is uh, orientation changing, if it requires two, which means that uh, the two triangles have the same uh, orientation. For part B, it requires three, which means that uh, the those two triangles have different orientation. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so let's do part A. So I'm going to uh, try to draw a triangle, um, let's see, of the length. Uh, maybe five, six, seven, or something like that. So I'm going to use this uh, with the center, with the radius. Uh, so here, I'm going to put a point there, and uh, I'm going to put five there. All right, that's a circle. So I'm going to pick another point uh, right on here. All right, then I'm going to just uh, connect it with the uh, segment. So you have uh, one segment here. All right, we got that. All right, then uh, let's see. So next one, so I'm going to actually uh, hide this circle because we don't need to see that. Uh, let's see, did I hide it? Oh, actually, I didn't uh, hide it, All right? So uh, next length is six, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go here and then go away six, All right? Then I'm, And then the other one, I'm going to have seven, so I'm going to just put seven there, All right? So I'm going to use that in a section point. So here, actually, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to just do this here. All right, then I'm just going to connect them together. So A, B, C, A, all right. So I'm going to just uh, get rid of, um, Let's see, uh, so hide this guy and another circle. Um, where is the other circle here? Hide this guy, All right? So we have this triangle and we don't need those um, uh, labels. So I'm gonna uh, label, get rid of label and I don't need G and I don't need F. So I'm gonna just get rid of that, All right? So we have that. All right, so, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can go back. All right, so here, so you have one triangle here, and I'm going to uh, draw another triangle, which is congruent, so the length of five, six, seven. So I'm going to just uh, start with here. Um, here, and a five, so it looks like that. And then I'm going to pick another point. Um, just on here, all right, and then here I'm gonna have uh, six, and then from here, seven. All right, so I'm going to pick this point, uh, so intersection point there, so that's that. All right, then I'll just connect it with the segment tool, so E, F here, and F and uh, D and D and E. All right. So then I'm going to just uh, hide these circles. So uh, not the label, sorry. I'm going to hide it. Um, hide this guy. So and uh, I'm going to hide this one. All right. What, uh, what other circle? So, oh, I can just do this. All right. And uh, we can get rid of those labels too if I want to. So I'm going to get rid of those labels. All right, label's gone, uh, label's gone. All right, so we have that. All right, then we're gonna just to make it look a little bit better. So A, A is over here, C and uh, D, E, F. All right, so what we want to do is uh, we want to do uh, 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 reflections. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, find, uh, uh, let's see, a perpendicular bisector, right? So I'm going to use the perpendicular bisector tool. 
uh, between the uh, corresponding uh, you know vertices so I'm gonna try this and uh, all right oh actually before we uh, do a reflection I, I'm going to make it a poly polygon so a B C is a polygon all right then D E F all right that's a polygon there and then a bunch of things that I don't want to see so I'm gonna actually just uh, can I just oh actually I need to see those right so I'm gonna just um, get rid of the labels all right so because we don't really need them all right and uh, get rid of the um, these labels all right these labels here and uh, get rid of that and get rid of that All right so what we're gonna do is I'm going to use a reflection tool so reflect so we're gonna uh, reflect about select the object to reflect here then I'm gonna reflect about this um, line All right so we have that then we can just do another reflection so what you can do is I can just go to again perpendicular bisector again All right so I'm gonna try this point and uh, that point All right then we can just reflect uh, this guy about that line All right so you can see that uh, two triangles are completely matched All right by doing two reflections All right so I'm going to just uh, make it a little bit smaller and uh, maybe um, try to move it All right so I'll take the uh, picture here All right so this is example uh, for part a so I'm gonna maybe do this All right so I'm gonna save it as um, p10a right then um, for part B what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, come up with a different one so a different example here would be all right so we need to draw a triangle so I'm gonna do a same uh, five six seven triangle so I'm gonna go here all right and uh, here and I'm gonna go here and uh, five all right so second point and I'm gonna pick it here all right then I'm gonna do a circle all right so I'm gonna do a six here and uh, I'm gonna do a seven here all right so we know that the uh, point is right there all right and then I'm going to just uh, create a I'm gonna actually go ahead and create a triangle this way all right that and uh, all right then we don't need all these circles so I'm gonna just uh, hide them all right hide that hide that circle and hide that circle all right so I'm gonna make it a little bit oh shoot um, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller all right then I'm gonna draw another uh, five six seven but I'm gonna change the orientation so I'm gonna do uh, here and five all right then I pick another one another point here all right then uh, um, here all right instead of six here I'm gonna do a seven on this side and the six on that side all right then I'm gonna use the uh, the intersection point there all right then I'm gonna just hide all these circles just hide hide uh, hide and then I can just make a poly polygon there so you have a D E F right so we have that all right so let's do a uh, um, um, reflection here and we can just get rid of those uh, labels too so maybe I'll, I'm gonna do that so here get rid of the label there get rid of the label there and uh, we can get rid of those too so it's the ABC one so those guys 
show do not show label do not show label do not show labels all right so let's do a uh, uh, perpendicular bisector all right between these two all right then we're gonna do the um, um, reflection of this guy about that all right we got that all right then I'm going to um, look at the uh, perpendicular bisector again between uh, these two guys all right then I'm going to reflect this image about that oh, this uh, image oh shoot I don't want to dig be there all right I'm going to all right, draw a perpendicular bisector. Maybe I'll, I'll do these two. All right, how about that? All right, then I'm going to reflect, do a reflection of this guy about this line. All right, then you ended up here, and okay, once matched. All right, last step would be uh, we need the perpendicular bisector between this guy and this is original guy right there. Then we can just um, do a do a reflection, all right? This guy reflected there, all right? So you can see that the, this guy uh, requires three reflections to fit exactly to the original guy right there, all right? So I'm going to just take a picture of this, and uh, let's see, maybe something like that, all right? Then I'm going to just save this guy, so save as, and P10B, all right? So put it in there, all right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.